Now, to understand how logarithms work, we just have to look at how the exponentials work. So if 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32, which can also be pronounced as 2 to the exponent of 5 or exponential, we need a way of going back from 32 to work out the power of 2 on 5 that gives you the number 32. So for example, we need a way to work out what power of 2 gives you gives you 32. Here obviously we know that 2 to the power of 5 gives you 32. The 2 here obviously is called the base the base number of your of your exponent and the 5 itself is the is the is the exponent that's the power. And the process of working out the power of 2 that gives you 32 obviously is called a logarithm. Now how we set out the function of logarithm, uh, we write this as the, the log of 32 to base 2. Or you can also pronounce this as log to base 2 of 32. What this means is 2 to what power gives you 32 and we know the power is equal to, equal to 5. If you do another similar example, so we know that 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81 so therefore working out log of 81 to base 3 which basically means 3 to what power gives you 81 and obviously you can see above the power would be would be 4. Now we can summarize this using algebra so if we say the log of x to base a equals b what this means or what this implies is that x equals a to the power of b. So if you look at this bit here, you're asking a to what power gives you gives you x and that power is b. So a to the power of b gives you gives you x. Now if you look at it the other way, so if x equals to a to the power b, then the log of x to base a will be equal to b because basically we are, we're asking ourselves a to what power gives you gives you x we know the answer is b right so this is basically how we apply logs now let's look at some basic uh, scenarios now assuming that our base number is always positive this also implies that a logarithm function only will work if x is bigger than than zero you can see that here um, if the base number is positive then a to the power of b will always be positive now there is some restriction on the value values of x we can have in a logarithm function um, and this restriction is that x has to always be greater than zero and if we can see that obviously if a is a positive number a to any power will always be a positive value, so x obviously has to be always positive. In other words, uh, log will only take a positive value for x in order to work out the power of a that gives you that gives you b. So let's explore this function further. We know that 2 to the power 1 is 2, and therefore the log of 2 to base 2 is equal to 1. That's like saying 2 to what power gives me 2, or 2 to the power 1 gives me 2. This implies that the log of a to base a will always be equal to 1. And that's a common rule, so we will box this one up. Another common rule is 2 to the power 0, we know is equal to 1. Well, anything to the power 0 is 1. So therefore, log of 1 to base 2 or 2 to what power gives me 1, and that power obviously is equal to 0, and this implies that log of 1 to base a, or a to what power gives me 1, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so whenever you have a log of 1, it will always be equal to 0, and log of a to base a will always be equal to 1. Now, for the next rule, let's go back to our previous example. Uh, if x equals to a to the power of b, then this means that the log of x to base a, obviously by definition it gives you the power, um, which is which is b. We can also write this as log of a to the power of b to base a is equal to, is equal to b. Now, another way we can write this is if we have b multiplied by log of a 
to base a. If you look at this example here, log of a to base a is 1, so here this is equal to 1, and b times 1 gives you, gives you b. If we now compare those two, what this implies is that the log of a to the power b to base a is equal to b times the log of a to base a, and that gives you b. This brings us to the third formula, or the third rule of logarithm. So if you have the log of x to the power k to base a, this will be the same as k multiplied by the log of x to base a. So what essentially happens is that the power drops down to the front and becomes a coefficient of the log itself. It's important to note that log of x to the base a, and if you were to raise all of this to the power k, this does not mean the same as the log of x to the power k to base a. There's two different meanings. On the left side, it's just log of x, being whole thing being powered, whereas on the right hand side, it's only the x itself that has the power of, of k. And if that's the case, then that's when we apply the law of logarithm where the k can be brought down to the front. Let's do some simple examples. Um, so if we have the log of 2 to the power 3 to base 2, then the answer is going to be 3 times the log of 2 to base 2. And we know the log of 2 to base 2 is 1, therefore the answer is going to be 3. So this essentially tells us that if you have log of a to the power x to base a, that's the same as x times the log of a to base a, and given that log of a to base a is 1, we'll just get the x back. Now this rule is very important because it helps us to solve equations in logarithms. So let's look at an equation 2 to the power x equals to 64. Now the x here, the unknown is, is the actual power itself. So to bring the power down, we apply logs to both sides. We're going to apply log to base 2 on the left side, so that's 2 to the power x equals to log to base 2 of 64. The reason we, the reason I chose a base 2 is because obviously the base number itself on 2 to the power x is 2. So the left hand side can be written as x times the log of 2 to base 2. And this is equal to um, this is equal to log of two to base six to four and to log of two. And this bit log two to base two is is one. So this means x equals to log of sixty four to base two, and that's equal to equal to six. So if we do another example, so three to the power x equals to six. So this essentially tells us that x equals log of 6 to base to base 3 which brings us to the next rule if a to the power x equals to b then x would be equal to the log of b to base a to summarize log of a to base a equals to 1 log of 1 to base a equals to 0 Given that a to the power x equals to b, then x would be equal to the log of b to base a. And finally, log of x to the power k to base a is the same as k multiplied by the log of x to base, to base a. In this video, we'll be looking at further rules of logarithms, so stay tuned.